Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of uh, Royce Gives Into FOMO. So, uh, let's go into tonight's little ditty. Ooh, ooh. <clears throat> the hot, hot, hot. Firing up your taste buds. Spicy chicken fries, baby. So, brief background on me, I don't like chicken nuggets. It turns out, when you whip up random chicken parts into a paste, it doesn't taste good. To me, anyway. There are things I will eat that are kind of chicken nugget adjacent, like, I love McNuggets, but that's more to do with the tempura batter that McDonald's does, and... The sweet and sour sauce. Uh, which is just a really good, like, kind of... I don't know. It's not It's not like an actual uh, sweet and sour sauce you get at a Chinese restaurant. It's sort of this... It, it Like, literally, it mentions apricot preserves in the thing. And I think that's actually really, in, really unique. Speaking of unique, we have zesty sauce to accompany it. My favorite of Burger King's sauces. Because it's the only one that, like, you know... It's the only one that no other restaurant has, and I'm actually kind of shocked about that because it's it's a horseradish sauce. Why other no other fast food chain really has a horseradish sauce except for uh, uh, Arby's, who has a really gross kind of like ultra man mayonnaise horseradish sauce that has a little too much horseradish in it. This is more more akin to it. It's like a cheap version of the bloomin' onion sauce that you get at. Um, at a Outback. But it, you know, I mean, for a, for a pink sauce, it's really good. Anyway. But anyway, so, the other thing I, the other way I'll eat the processed chicken is in a chicken fry, because you have a much bigger breading to, uh, breading to m meat consistency. I also am not a big fan of spicy stuff, so let's see how this goes. I mean, it builds a little on the back of your tongue, but... It... It tastes less spicy than a normal chicken fry, which has a really good peppery breading. So, like, it is technically spicier, I guess, but it doesn't taste as spicy. I don't know. The secret with the zesty sauce is you get a crispy, a royal crispy chicken, and you get one of these, and you squeeze it on. Hmm. I am a little perturbed by the white bits all over the outside of this thing, but I think that's just like crumbs from the normal chicken fries because I'm assuming they're sharing a hot a hot plate together, you know, under the heat lamp. Her flavor is just a crunchy, bland chicken nugget that leaves a kick in your mouth. I mean, it's a chicken fry with cayenne pepper and red dye. You know, usually when people say, like, oh, it's hot, they actually put a little flavor in it, like flaming Hot Cheetos. 
when they put citric acid in it, they put garlic powder in it, it has a different taste from a normal Cheeto. It's not just a spicy Cheeto. This, though, it is just a spicy chicken fry. And that's kind of a bummer. Taylor, he if only I had something else to not only <clears throat> get the spice out of my mouth, but also to taste good. But uh, the Italian crispy chicken sandwich, a personal favorite of mine from the King. Not always on the menu, but when it is, I'm always appreciative. I actually tried to order one of these last night, and they gave me the original crispy chicken sandwich Italian instead. And I just said I don't like regular chicken nuggets. How the heck am I supposed to enjoy a long nugget? I hate chicken patties. But this, this is just a nice, normal, breaded chicken filet on a bun. Nice little potato roll here. Let's give it a try. There is such a very specific taste to fast food um, chicken parms. Because, like, they, they use a lower quality mozzarella. I don't even know why they call it chicken parmesan. Um, and also a really cheapy marinara sauce, obviously. But it, it it's a very good taste to me. Again, garbage person. I like this stuff. It tastes gross, but I like it. Hmm. Mm. You know, speaking of garbage stuff, I got another spicy, or I got another zesty sauce. Let's see, we, uh, <laughs> do a little boop boop. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Mixing classic uh, Americana with classic Italian cookery. How's that sound? Mm. Surprisingly mixes better than you think. Horseradish is such a strange herb. Or, I don't know what you'd call it. I guess it's a vegetable, but... That's a tuber, I think. Yeah. But, like, surprisingly compliments the, the marinara very well. Mmm. I used to do this back in 2019 when they first introduced it. And had the chicken fillet sandwich on the two for six menu, and then after 2020, they they did they started doing the uh, the hand breaded stuff, which I de which I despised, but they had the they had the zesty sauce on the sandwich, which I was already doing. So I'm a bit of a trendsetter, you know. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, a bit of an innovator, you know. I'm a I'm an ideas guy. I can't do anything, but. God damn, if you give me if you give me a me a team of people who can do stuff, I'll give you the best inventions you've ever seen. Absolutely disgusting, and I am at work. Oh, I am so sorry about that. So yeah, um, honestly, these nothing burger. It is just the most. It is blander than a normal chicken fry, but way spicier. If I wanted. 
to have, like, even buffalo flavoring would have been an improvement on this. And I don't like buffalo flavoring because it's just vinegar. Like, buffalo sauce is just spicy vinegar. In the same way ketchup is just sweet vinegar. Um. So, yeah, if you do go to Ed, Ed BK, just get yourself some normal chicken fries. They're plenty good already. Got a nice little peppery bite to them because of the breading. Or, you know, just skip both and get the chicken sandwich and get a little tub of the zesty sauce to put on it, and you'll have a good time, trust me. Well, anyway, y'all have a good night. Have a good weekend. Stay warm if you're in this awful cold front. Happy Easter. This is Roy Spiller signing out.